Hi everybody, it's Miss Rachel from the Bedford Hills Free Library. And I'm Bovina. We met last week. Yes, we did. You came back to join us? I sure did. Is there a hello song? That delightful hello song we did? Can we do that again? We sure can. Do you guys remember it? It goes like this. It's nice to say hello, 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 hola, hello, moo. It's nice to say hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, me too. We're fine, and how are you? How are you, everybody? I hope you're doing well and that you're ready to join me today for songs and stories. Um, if you read my email, you know that this week I've been thinking about grandparents and birthdays, and it just so happens that one of my favorite books in the world has both. So this is called Peter is Just a Baby. It's written and illustrated by Mara Sabina Russo, who's a local author. I think she lives in Hastings. She's one of my favorites. She has a lot of books about just sibling life and what it is to be a kid. Very simple books, but they're, they're just spot on. So when we're finally back in the library and we can check books out, I will recommend, I'd be very happy to recommend some of her other books to you. This one is Peter is Just a Baby. Here we go. Peter is my brother, and he's just a baby. He can only say baby words like Baba when he wants his bottle and Dada when he wants Daddy. But not me. I can say grown-up words like manicure when I want Mama to paint put pink polish on my nails, and skyscraper when I build a tall tower out of blocks, and I can even count to three in French, une, deux, trois, and I can ask for apple pie a la mode. That's because my grandma has been teaching me French. She tries to teach Peter too, but he just says baba again, <laughs> and then grandma laughs and calls him her petit chou. Petit chou means little cabbage in French. I hope I'm saying that right. French is not a language I really speak. Peter is just a baby, and he's a very sloppy eater. He mashes peas with his spoon, and he gets tomato sauce on his nose. And sometimes he even gets tomato sauce on his toes. Not me. I can balance peas on my tongue. And I can twirl and twirl spaghetti around on my fork without getting a drop of sauce on my nose. And right before I start to eat, I always say, Bon appetit, which means have a good meal. That's also French. Peter's just a baby, and he can't even walk yet. He crawls like a turtle. <laughs> Not me. I can run, and I can leap, and I can skip. Sometimes I even do pirouettes around the living room like a real ballerina. Ballerinas use lots of French words, and that's one of the reasons I'm going to be a ballerina when I grow up. First we see her dancing in her living room and then we get to see her dancing like a real ballerina in her imagination. I like this page. Peter is just a baby and he puts everything in his mouth. His truck and his rubber ducky and even his foot. <laughs> If you guys have little brothers or sisters, then I'm sure you've seen this. I think some of you at home probably have a younger sibling. Like I know Violet has her little sister Lacey, who she brings with her to story time sometimes. I'm sure a lot of others of you do too. Peter is just a baby and he cries all the time. When he wants to get out of his car seat, he cries, or his snowsuit, or even his dirty diaper. Ew. I would cry too. Not me. I only cry about really important things like scraping my knee or saying goodbye to my cousin at the airport. That is sad. 
or missing my best friend's birthday party because I'm sick, then I cry and I cry and I say, que dommage, which means too bad in French. It's much more dramatic than just saying too bad, and it always gets lots of attention. Oh, that is a bummer to miss things. I know some of you have missed certain kinds of parties or things uh, over the past few weeks. Peter is just a baby and he's never even had a birthday. He's never even had a birthday party. He has never worn a party hat or blown out a candle or unwrapped a present. Not me, I've had one, two, three, four, five, six birthday parties. This is a fun picture. You can see a little snippet of all of her birthday parties. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've played musical chairs and pinned the tail on the donkey and I've made wishes and blown out all the candles on my cake with one big puff. Well, actually two birthdays ago I didn't blow out all the candles with one big puff and that was the year I wished for a baby sister and then I got Peter. Quel dommage! Peter's just a baby, but today he's going to have his first birthday party. Since I'm his big sister, I guess I have to help him with everything. Like putting on his party hat, opening his present, making his wishes, and blowing out his candles. What's this say over here? Oh, now it's when they're wishing him happy birthday. Happy birthday, Peter! Grandma and I say, bon, bon anniversaire, Pierre. What do you think that means? Yeah, happy birthday in French. Maybe now that Peter is one year old, he won't act like such a baby anymore. He'll talk and he'll say words like bicycle and macaroni. And he'll walk around and run and do pirouettes across the living room floor. And he won't put trucks or ducks or even feet in his mouth. And he won't cry unless it's about something very important. These are all those things she was talking about. And look at the very important thing he might cry about. It is very important. Can you tell what's happening? He lost the ice cream part of his ice cream coat. That is a bummer. I think we'd... I think we can admit we'd all cry about that. Oh, maybe he'll even learn how to speak French just like me. And then I'll invite him to my tea parties and we can eat petit fours and bonbons. Those are like little French sweets. Wouldn't that be nice? If they could do all that together. Hmm, maybe not. He's still just one. Look at what he's doing. Oops, this way. You see how messy he is with his cake? He's not ready for tea parties. <laughs> and she realizes, she realizes it. She says, maybe I'll have to wait until next year when he turns du. What? Because for now, Pierre, mon frère, Peter, my brother, is still just a baby. In French, baby is is how you say baby. They're very similar, right? Let's hear that last sentence again. Or maybe I'll have to wait until next year when he turns du, because for now, Pierre, mon frère, is still just a bébé. Oh well, as grandma says, c'est la vie. That's life. That's how it goes. Grandma's very wise. <laughs> Peter is just a baby. Well, we sort of, it was almost like we were at Peter's birthday party with him, right? So let's take it to the next level and sing Peter happy birthday. I bet you guys all know this song. Let's sing happy birthday to Peter. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Peter. Happy birthday to you. Do you guys know anyone who has a birthday? 
We all have birthdays. Maybe you know someone who just had a birthday or it's coming up, someone in your family or one of your friends or maybe even you. <gasps> Riley, it's your birthday this week, right? So I'm sure in your family now you'll put it, Riley's name into this song. Everybody else, think of uh, someone who you want to sing happy birthday to, and we'll do it one more time. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I just learned that song. Uh, I was so happy when I did it perfectly the first time. Oh. Alright, so that gives me an idea that for the next time we sing it, let's put the ukulele down because this time I want to teach it to you in sign language. I think this will be such a nice thing for you guys to, to know how to do. So I'm going to show you the signs for happy birthday to you. It's really simple. We start with happy. Take your two hands and go like this. It's like you're showing the, the love and the happiness radiating out of your heart. So happy birthday is when you take your little, your middle finger, sometimes people call it the tall guy, and touch your chin to your chest. Birthday. Two, you, you use your two pointers and they touch each other to you. Just pointing. And uh, that's the same thing for the first and the second verse. For the third verse we have to add dear whoever. So dear in sign language is sort of like saying dear or sweet someone. So it's the same sign for sweet like in candy or cake, which we eat on our birthday. Just like that. Sweet. So happy birthday, dear. And if it was someone you knew, you could finger spell their name if you knew how to do that. Or you could point to the person. But for our what we're going to do today, let's say friends. Dear friends, because I would love to teach you this sign. It's such a lovely sign for friends. Again, our two pointers and they just hook. If you're younger and that's kind of tricky, you can just tap them. Friends. That's the whole song. So we, should we try it? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. That was so easy and so cool. Let's try it one more time, just with the signs, and sing the song in your head. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my dear friends. If it's your birthday, if it's not, even if it's not, I just want to call you my dear friends because I love you and I miss you. And now it's the end of story time, so we'll say goodbye. But, you know, look out next week for our new email coming with more links to more story times, more information. Um, in between then, you might want to check out the Bedford Hills Free Library Facebook page or our website, which is the library And we'll see you soon. So let's take Bovina out again for our goodbye song. I thought you'd never get me. <laughs> You're here. You get to sing hello and goodbye. Ready? Goodbye, goodbye, everyone. Glad you came. Hope you had fun. I'll see you another day. We'll have more time to sing and play. I thought it was read and play. Read and play. Goodbye, goodbye, everyone. Glad you came. Hope you had fun. Thanks, Bobina. Oh. My pleasure. Thanks for coming everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Goodbye.